Good day, this is Sir Paya. So this time, gagawa tayo ng program on how to create a chart in Divi.net. Bago tayo magsimula, pag-subscribe my channel and pag-ipindot na rin ang notification bell para kung may mga bagong upload ako, ma-notify kayo. And of course, uh, don't forget to share my videos. Okay, so, una gagawa muna tayo ng design. So, add tayo ng panel. So, ilagay natin panel sa taas. And then, tap natin ng to top. Then, add tayo ng chart under the data. Ayan. And then, ayan, save na po natin yung chart natin. Then, add tayo ng reference. We have imports and my system that windows system that windows that forms that um, data visualization that charting so ito po yung reference ng chart and then import tayo ng mysql so kung wala kayong mysql so attach mo na ninyo under sa uh, project menu and then go to add reference then paki-add na lang yung mysql.data.dll that mysql client and then uh, declare tayo ng variable for condition time cn as uh, new mysql command and uh, connection ayan with cn that connection string so, yung server natin is localhost. Localhost. And then, user ID natin. Yung root niya. Password. Uh, wala. And then, the database name. So, yung database natin is uh, ito po. Barangay help. Ayan. We have the barangay help. So that okay. So pwede na yan. Okay. And then so yun natin gawin is gawa tayo ng module a chart module na kung saan siya yung nagpapadisplay uh, sa chart natin. Sa blue chart okay and then we have with chart 1, by default yung name ng chart natin is chart 1 and then that series the clear I clear muna natin yung series that series that add like the series 1 ayan and then gawa tayo ng uh, adapter time d as new mysql data adapter and then sa data adapter so i-retrieve natin yung data na galing sa tbl barangay example the barangay and then the population ok so we have select barangay then you have population from name ng ating table is tbl barangay Ayan, square, square municipal, municipal, like, uh, Suriga City. So, example, yan po siya. Then, active connection natin is yan. And then, declare tayo ng data set, uh, DS, as new data set. And then, uh, DE, that fail. Uh, DES and then we have the population so population yung name na natin a logical table and then we have the chart 1 the data source yung data source natin is yung sa under sa data set natin the table and then ang name ng table natin na population ayan and then declare tayo ng series nya then series 1 as a series ayan and then we have the chart 1 
that series and then we have the series one okay and then we have the series one um that chart type and then yung chart type na gamitin natin is yung pi uh, series chart type that pi so actually meraming type nya so merong line merong pyramid so, depende sa inyo kung ano yung gagamitin nyo so ang paggamitin ko is pi so we have the series 1 that name so name natin is um, population ok and then with chart uh, chart 1 uh, that series so ipadisplay natin yung series natin series 1 that name yung population na name nya that x um value member so this is barangay so ito po yung barangay kanina yan po siya then that series uh, series 1 that name and then we have the y value members so yung y value members natin is yung population uh, we have the population ayan then we have the series and then uh, label lagay natin na label format nya label format so format natin sya ng number sign so we have number Then dito, so tatawagin natin dito. And open, tapos tatawagin natin dito si load chart. So try natin parang yung program. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ayan, so Okay, so medyo Magulo siya So, dito is Ipadisplay natin kung ilang percent And every barangay So, dito tayo uh, That series Dex 0 Then we have that is Value as label and then set natin to true so ayan so try natin ayan so ito na po yun and then dito is ipadisplay natin kung yung uh, percentage nya kung ilang percent that series index 0 that label format so, sa label format is baguhin natin siya na um, uh, legend um, this is legend text and then we have the van x and then we have the percent ok so Try natin ni Paran. 
Ayan. So, meron na siyang kung ilang percentage yung um, in every population every barangay. Okay. Tapos dito, pwede ko yung pwede ko yung mag-colom kung gusto nyo. Ayan. Pwede kayong mag Pwede kayong mag dog do not Ayan. Ito po yung do not. Okay. So since um medyo nagkadikit-dikit yung ano, yung data natin. So pwede nating ilabas yung data. Say for example uh dito. So, labas natin yung data that a series index 0 and then we have the um, pi label style we have the pi label style and then we have the outside okay so, pi natin siya Ayan, so, uh, nandiyan na sa labas yung data. Pero, hindi natin makikita kung si 19,949 is sang galing. So, pwede po natin siyang lagyan ng line. So, example dito is series index 0 dot uh, border width is it natin on 1. And then, that series index 0 um, that border color change natin yung color nya border label border uh, no, this is border color border color and then we have the system uh, that drawing that color that color that from argument from argument. So, depende na kung anong color ang gusto natin. Okay? So, any color for example, lagyan natin ng 12, 12, 12. So, try natin kung anong color yan. Ayan. So, andyan na yung label niya. Okay? And then, kung gusto natin siyang i-3D, so, pwede po natin siyang ma-3D. Add lang tayo ng series. And then, we have, you know, so this is not, this is a chart areas. Uh, index 0, that area 3D style, that enable 3D. Ayan. Then, set lang natin to ng true. So, automatic naka-3D na yung pi natin. Ayan. Okay. So, again, so, thank you for listening. I hope may natunan kayo kahit kante. Okay. So, bye-bye.